polished and perfection is not what the market is looking for. They're looking mm -hmm. for personality, for authenticity, for what they're really going to get. They want the sure bet, no surprises. <laughs> Speakers have different kind of basket of assets. What to you are the most critical pieces in a speaker's basket of assets? And what do you utilize the most? What do you see, see gets the most traction out of what you have available for those potential speaking engagements? Well, the one sheet is critical, but beyond the one sheet, I want to encourage everyone to invest in up-to-date professional photography. Yes. Nothing is more off-putting than a beautifully graphic designed one sheet with great marketing messaging attached to it with some photos. And then you meet the person on Zoom or in person and you're taken aback because the person that was represented on the one sheet or their LinkedIn profile or their social media presence is very different than who you're meeting in person. And yeah. That immediately you're losing marks for trustworthiness. You just are. You just are. You're saying that, you know, you're basically saying to these event planners, oh, accept me for who I am, or I just didn't get, I didn't have time to, or I didn't want to invest in new photos. When in reality, that event planner is going to be using those marketing assets to sell their event. And they, you need to provide them with some excellent assets for them to help them close more sales and, yes. and sell more tickets. And by, you know, sharing your photos that are two, three, four years old, it's just, it doesn't bode well for you or that event. Yeah. <laughs> Key. Okay. There's a couple layers here. So you can have an older photo that no longer looks like you. Your hairstyle might be entirely different. It might be a 10 year old photo when you yeah. were 20 years lighter, you know, whatever, whatever it might be, 20 wrinkles less, be relevant, be current, be real. And that trustworthiness piece is mm -hmm. everything, right? If there's just that slight feeling like, oh, wait a minute, I feel like I was a little misled here. That's a killer. That takes you from that maybe list to, uh, I, it's not worth the gamble. Now it's questionable. Now you're yes. questionable because now, now you're, questionable. you're, now that event planner is thinking, well, did they also embellish what's written here on their one sheet? Are they embellishing on their level of mastery? Are they embellishing whether or not they're actually an expert in this arena? Am I going to get them on stage and and be disappointed because they're offering a mediocre canned message that you can find anywhere. I'm looking for unique speakers. I'm looking for people that have a unique point of view and who take a stance on it. And it, what it really does is it's just, it's not positioning you well whatsoever. And it all stems from out of date photos. I mean, come on people. It's one of the simplest things you can do is, to, and you don't have to hire the most expensive professional photographer within your region, but don't, you know, call up your cousin Henry and ask him to come over and take photos of you in the backyard and, and then call that done. No, you need to have a photographer who can work with your, your body, your facial structure, lighting, clothing. You, you want them. That's what you're paying for with the photographer is for them to give you the best complimentary image of you that they possibly can without thinking you're going to, you know, you're not going to be Photoshopped. You're not going to look like your AI generated. It's really you and it's um, authentically you. That's really what you're looking for. Yes. Personality, right? Mm -hmm. So don't wear a dress. If you're not going to be wearing a dress on stage, if that's not you, don't yeah. wear a three piece suit. If you're going to show up mm -hmm. in a Hawaii shirt, cause that's part of your talk, right? Yeah. Show up in your photos, how you show up mm -hmm. on stage. So they really can get that feel of your personality, what they're really going to, what they're really buying into, right? They may not buy the the perfectly polished, suited up male or female. They may want more liveliness at their engagement. And you've just 
number one, misrepresented how you're really going to honestly show yeah. up. Mm -hmm. And number two, kind of killed yourself because they didn't get to see your personality. They didn't kill that yeah, opportunity. Because they didn't. So show your personality in your photos. Polished and perfection is not what the market is looking for. They're looking mm -hmm. for personality, for authenticity, for what they're really going to get. They want the sure bet. They No surprises. Mm -hmm. This industry is not about surprises. They want to know exactly what they're getting. And that starts with those photos and how you present yourself in that marketing literature. Sure. And you're exactly right, Shelly. It does not take a lot of money anymore. It does not take a lot of money. It takes some good questioning and some good research. And so the other thing I would encourage every all of us to do as speakers is when you are offered a position to come in and speak on someone's stage, one of the questions that you should be asking is, what's your definition of a pr dressing appropriately for your event? Because even though you have a style, you want to be relevant to the audience that is there. But I, as someone who's there to serve the event planner and that organization and those brands that are sponsoring the event, it's absolutely, you know, relationship building 101 to ask the person, is there something that would, how can I show up in a way that you'd be delighted that I showed up, right? So the other thing I would encourage you to ask is, are there specific colors that you'd like me to refrain from wearing, right? So often brands would love to have all of their speakers wearing something that represents the colors the color palette of a particular large sponsorship brand, right? Mm. So um, ask for those things, because if you could tuck a scarf around your neck, that's complimentary to that branded colors. Um, if you could wear a jacket or a pair of shoes, like you're looking for this cohesiveness. How could I help you with the cohesiveness of this event? And yes. you're demonstrating how flexible you're going to be that even though you are on brand and you probably have your own branding colors that you like to wear, you're definitely able to put that aside or come up with the style that actually is a win-win for both. So how could you dress appropriately that is perfectly on brand for you, but not so off brand for the event or those big sponsors at that event? You've got- Or worse, the colors of their competitors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because that's confusing too, right? We need to think about the audience. So it's all these little questions that you can ask. And as event planners, I would be encouraging the event planners to actually include that, those little tidbits of, you know, just incredible, clear direction, include that in your speaker agreements. Put those items in, no bare feet. Uh, we would prefer our speakers to have one item of clothing that is hot pink because our sponsor this year is company XYZ and their big recognizable branding color is hot pink. Weave that right into the speaker agreement mm. and be totally yeah. upfront about it because if you are a collaborative individual that's looking for more speaking opportunities, you will be flexible and you will be delighted to show up and meet those expectations.